What's up guys, just a guy in tech here and in today's video I'll be unboxing this brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 along with a few other Samsung Fold 3 accessories. The Galaxy Fold 3 is Samsung's latest premium top of the line foldable phone and for those of you who haven't heard about Samsung Galaxy Z Fold, it is a phone that unfolds into a tablet giving you a much larger screen. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 isn't your normal phone by any means. It costs $1800 here in the United States for the base configuration and it costs over 1,50,000 INR in India. The Samsung Fold 3 ships in a very small minimal packaging box. Up top you can see the Galaxy Z symbol representing that this is a foldable device and just underneath that you have the name of the device printed which you can also find on the sides of the box. So once you start opening the box you straight away see the phone opened up in the tablet mode all wrapped up in a plastic wrap. So before we have a full look at the phone let's see what else do we get in the box. Inside the box you can also find the sim ejector tool along with a quick start guide that helps you set up your phone. You also get a USB Type-C to Type-C charging cable to charge up your phone and that's pretty much what you get in the box. Also do remember, Samsung doesn't include the charger in the box anymore. Now let's get back to the Fold 3. So this right here is Samsung's most premium foldable phone. This is the phantom black color which looks really good. It is also available in two other colors which is phantom green and phantom silver. Let's go ahead and peel off the plastic wrap around the phone to get a real look at the Fold itself. Now that the plastic wrap around the phone is peeled off, let's go ahead and actually fold this device for the very first time. The whole process of folding is so smooth and doesn't feel weird at all. Let's take a closer look at the hinge which makes this folding process so smooth. The hinge has been improved a lot compared to the previous generation foldable. So once it is folded, you have a tall narrow external display which you can use as a normal phone. And once you unfold it, you can use the larger internal display like a small tablet. The phone has minimal branding and you find the branding only on the hinge. On the right hand side, you have the power button which has a fingerprint reader built into it and right above that you have the volume control buttons. On the left you can find the SIM tray slot and moving towards the bottom you can find the USB-C slot along with one of the stereo speaker grills. You can also find the other stereo speaker grill at the top. On the rear, you can find the triple camera setup which features a wide angle lens, an ultra wide angle lens and a telephoto lens. The camera bump is very minimal so when you put down your phone on a table to use it, the bump should not cause any major issues. The phone also features two front facing cameras. You can find one of them on the external display which is what you expect on any regular phone. But the other front facing camera is what makes this phone a bit different from the others. The other front facing camera is an under display hidden camera that can be found on the internal display once you unfold the phone. So now let's boot up the phone so that you can all have a first look as to how the screen and the display look on this foldable device. So once you hit that power button the phone starts booting up. And while it is loading, let's take a look at the top hinge while closing and unfolding this phone. It is just such a smooth process. Once the phone turns on, you go to sign in with your Google account. But before we do that, let's see how the display looks on the external display and how does it look once you unfold it on the internal display. There is no weird lag whatsoever and the screen contents adjust automatically to whichever screen you're using, which is pretty neat. Once you've signed in, the setup process guides you to set up your fingerprint. So just follow the on-screen instructions to set it up. And then you're greeted with a set of instructions on how to properly take care of your phone. The two main instructions that you really have to focus here is that the phone is not dust resistant. So make sure to keep it safe from small particles such as sand as they may get stuck in the hinge. The next important thing to note here is that the protective film on the main internal display screen is applied by Samsung and removing it will certainly damage the screen. So make sure you don't do that. Once that's done, you're all set to go and start using your phone. If this is your first time using a foldable device, you'll seriously be amazed as to how smooth the whole display flow across both the displays is. It is something that you have to experience by seeing it yourself. That's pretty much what I'll be going through regarding the Fold 3 in this video. So stay tuned for the full review by subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon to get notified when the Galaxy Z Fold 3 review video goes live. So now that we have unboxed and had a first look at the Galaxy Z Fold 3, let's go ahead and unbox a few Samsung Z Fold 3 accessories. Also, before we unbox the accessories, do note if you're buying the Galaxy Z Fold 3 here in the United States on the Samsung website, you get a $200 in-store credit which you can use to buy these accessories. First up, let's unbox and take a closer look at the Galaxy Z Fold 3 flip cover with the S Pen. 
the flip cover with the S Pen holder has been upgraded to suit the new Fold 3. It now features a dedicated and a detachable S Pen Fold Edition holder and it costs $80 for the S Pen and the case together. The case also covers the minimal camera bump to provide stability which is really helpful while taking notes on this phone. The S Pen Fold Edition is also a brand new S Pen that works only on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. You can see the Fold Edition text engraved at the top and this S Pen has some pretty interesting features which I'll be going through in detail in the review video. Overall, the case is pretty neat and as the Fold 3 doesn't have any slot to hold the S Pen, you need the case if you're planning to buy an S Pen to hold it. Next up, let's take a closer look at the Samsung Wireless Charger Trio which can wirelessly charge your phone, earbuds and watch all at the same time. It costs $89 and supports wireless charging speeds up to 9 watts. You don't need to align your phone or your earbuds on this charger as it features 6 coils underneath. So just place your device anywhere on the charger and they instantly start charging up. You can also find small icons on the charger to indicate the phone earbuds charging area and the watch charging area if you ever get confused. The wireless charger reaches through cases up to 3mm thick so you can charge your phone without taking off the case. It is available in two colors which is black and white. As Samsung doesn't include the charger in the box anymore, you can buy one from the Samsung store. This is a 25W USB-C fast charging wall charger that retails for $35. The Fold 3 supports max charging speeds up to 25W, making this charger the perfect combo for your Galaxy Fold 3. And just like the triple wireless charger, you can get it in two different colors, white and black. The last accessory that we'll be unboxing and having a closer look today is the Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag Plus, which costs $40. This Bluetooth powered accessory functions the same way as to how an Apple A tag works. Just attach the tag to a key or a bag and then just launch the SmartThing app on your phone to locate the keys or the bags when you lose them. Tap the ring button on your phone and follow the sound to find your misplaced item or use the AR Finding inbuilt app feature to guide you step by step to your item. It is available in two colors, black and denim blue. So that's it guys, that was the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and other accessories unboxing. Do let me know what you like about the Fold 3 and don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for the Galaxy Z Fold 3 review. If you have any questions that you want me to answer during the review, do drop them in the comments. Until then, take care and stay safe. Thanks for watching. Peace.